Hello and welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to bring to you a little making of video about how I made the frightfully forgotten theme song. Purposely a very 80s sounding horror theme song. Very much inspired by the master himself, John Carpenter. So uh, if you're wondering why it sounds very much like a John Carpenter theme, it's meant to be. So uh, I'm going to be mostly using actual synthesizers from that time period. Uh, I'll be using a Juno 106 for a good chunk of it and um, a Yamaha TX81Z for a couple of parts as well. So let's get to it. The first part, the essential John Carpenter type sequence. Here's how the first part of the song goes, the first sequence. It actually uh, has a slight change, so it starts off with... Then it changes to... Very simple. So I'm using Cubase here as a sequencer. I have the sequence laid into Cubase, and I'm going to run that back out to the Juno 106. So time to sculpt that sound. Let's get it sounding very John Carpenter-ish. There we go. Next up is the big synth pads. This sound is very much inspired by the John Carpenter Christine soundtrack. Very simple. I'm about plating a couple of octaves, recording a couple of octaves, so it sounds like very big. Now we got these two parts together. The pads. So the next part of the tune goes a little something like this. Very simple riff. I'm going to layer that once with the Juno 106. I'm also going to do it with the Yamaha TX81Z, which you see right here, to give it a very bellish type tone. So now let's hear all those parts together. Next melody, I'm using pretty much the same patch as the uh, the big bass pads, and it goes. And here's it in the mix. see there, put a lot of delay on the pads, uh, really gives it a lot of space. The pads actually have uh, three different octaves playing, one pan hard left, one pan hard right, and one in the center. Now it's time for the bass line, which I have programmed via MIDI into here, and I'm going to be doubling up the bass line, the same bass line, once it'll be played on the Juno 106, which you've seen lots of already. And now it's time to bust out the TX81Z again, and we're going to use a very uh, famous preset on this used on a lot of pop tunes called um, the Lately Bass. And if it's going to sound of a specific time period, which it was, you have to use those presets. As much as we say, don't use the presets. So here we go, the two bass lines. There is the uh, FM bass coming from the Yamaha TX81Z. There's the Juno 106 bass. You put them together, you've got something that's kind of shaking my room a bit here. So next is the drums. Now for uh, the making of this theme, I've pretty much used actual hardware the whole way through, but I don't have any drum machines from the actual 80s. 
So I'm being forced to use the sample bank, which is actual samples taken from this drum machine. They're not digital recreations. I'm talking about the famous Lindrum, heard on many and many a Prince tunes. And that's the drum machine I've chosen to use for this particular video. I have all the samples. I'm going to load them into a sample player on my computer. And that's how we're going to do the drums. So I have all these samples of the Lindrum loaded into this uh, piece of software I use called the Drum Source. It is actually a free piece of software. It's not stolen. It is freeware, free for anyone to download. And I use it for uh, all my samples. And actually, I re-record them. So I put all the samples in here. That gets routed out of my computer interface, in through my preamps, back into the computer, so I can work with actual WAV files. So here's the samples we're using. Kick, snare. You'll notice this uh, very famous princey type sound, the clap, uh, and hi-hats, of course, and a crash cymbal. So here's the drum soloed, just dry. Now we need to make it sound a bit more uh, 80s, so we're going to put some uh, gated reverb on that snare. and then some delay on the claps. And you put it all together, and you got... the track, right there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how I made the frightfully forgotten theme song. My homage to John Carpenter, the great master of movie making and horror movie themes himself. So, I'll probably post this one day when we have nothing else to post for a week, when we uh, don't have a review to put on. I'll put this one up. If you guys are into music and stuff, you might enjoy it. If not, you don't have to watch it. So, see you guys next time.